Hi, Paul. Hi there, Ruth. Good to see you. Thanks so much for coming in. Well, thanks for the, the check for $50,000. Oh, that's okay. You know, we thought that, that the development money would help you just to sort of focus your ideas. And, right. I know you, you wanted me to come up with a film idea. Yeah. But I haven't come up with an idea. I've come up with three ideas. Oh, that's fantastic. The first thing I thought was obviously there's a lot of films made in America. Yeah. Hollywood like or something. Hollywood, is, is that where it is? Yeah. 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 Well, the president of the United States of America, the, the assassins are trying to get the president. Get back, assassins! He fights back the assassins. When I briefed you, we were talking about doing a film in Australia. Well, you could do it in Australia, just do it like with a green screen. I'm the president of the United States of America. Go away! But initially, when I spoke to you, we were talking about doing a romantic comedy in Australia. A rom-com. Yeah, oh, well, there is romance in this film. The President of the United States, he's having an affair with his secretary. In the opening scene, they have uh, sex in the toilet. What? It, it's tastefully done. You just see the President's bottom. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 oh, 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 No, I don't... We... He fears she could be a secret agent. He just slashes her with a knife. That, that... As it turns out, she wasn't. But he wasn't to know. Right. He very rapidly realises. Maybe we should move on to some of the other ideas. Comedy is your strength, oh, not no, so much action. In fact, the main romance in that film is the between the President of the United States and the, his chef. I love you, you're my chef. Uh, he you're... says, I love you, you're my chef. We're having a gay affair. It mustn't become known to America. <laughs> Oh. And the president just puts a bullet in the back of the chef's head. Oh. 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 oh, cheers, mate. Apart from that, it is quite a gentle film. Let's hear the second idea. I, we want to move. Let's move away from action. Well, what about oh, the dove? Okay. What could be more peaceful than the dove? It's a beautiful dove flying through the air. Okay, so it's like an animated series? Whatever, that's your no, not, job, mate. That's not whatever. Is it an animated dove or is it a, is it a man dressed as a dove? I'm the dove. I'm at peace. But anyway, the dove, he, he's a cockney. Was born in the east end of London and he's responsible for a bank robbery. Got any bank jobs on? Uh, no, I'm not interested, mate. This just sounds like the ramblings of a madman. Campsite. This is another film. Okay. In a campsite, and it's at night. The birds twittering. A man and a woman are in their tent together in love. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. They've gone there for a 35-year wedding anniversary. Oh, okay. And they speak of their love for each other and how their love is only growing. Okay. Well, this is more in that in, in in the vein of what we're after here. Yeah, yeah. We want an accessible romantic comedy. And it's based in Australia. In Australia. N now you're ticking the boxes. Yeah. You hear a little scurrying noise outside. Is it a little shrew looking for nuts? Is it a little fawn in nature? Beautiful. Or it's a nice imagery. It's actually a person. Oh. And it's got like a shrouded, hooded face. Could be a hermit, maybe, who's come to give wise information. Right. Or a monk. Okay. Well, it isn't. Right. Because in the opening scene, well, they both get brutally killed. But the thing is, it's very tastefully done. You don't see anything. You just see like the blood splatter up on the. On, For fuck's the, sake, Paul! Just before you dismiss it, like you dismiss my other two ideas, just listen to this: eleven people in a big tent, and they're all from an embroidery society. I love embroidery. Do you? Oh, they're saying this in bed? Text would come up on the screen. Like, I love embroidery. Yeah. I love embroidery! And then suddenly, very tastefully done. Right. Just 11 splats of blood. <laughs> oh, I've been shot in the face! <laughs> this is absurdly violent. Paul, that's enough. Paul, 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 Paul that's enough. Paul, <laughs> stop, I've seen enough. You've got a good idea of the film. It's not a film. It's, it's one guy running around like a maniac. These film concepts are so violent, they're completely inappropriate. I've got something to say to you, mate. If you want to step up this project, you better think again. Because over the past few months, 
I have been making investments. I've been using the $50,000 you gave me, and I have purchased 51% of this production company. Yeah, that's right, baby. I now own the company. You meet me in my office in one minute for a disciplinary session. Are you serious? Yeah, so book a flight out to New York and just rearrange my diary for the Tuesday. Oh, and I'm just doing a disciplinary thing at work, so if you could just call my wife and tell her I'll be a few minutes late. Now, unfortunately, your work has been well below the level we expect at this firm. But, you know, I'm a fair-minded person, so I'd be interested to hear your view on things. I took the initiative to give you $50,000 of development money to come up with a film script. But the ideas you pitched were absurd, gratuitously violent, and completely inappropriate for our company. OK. Well, that's been really useful for me to hear things from your point of view. If you could just wait there for a minute, please. Ah! What are you doing? Ah. Unfortunately, you've been dismissed from this firm. Plus, you owe me money. Hello, Paulford Pictures.